Hey guys, what's going on? Today I want to share with you the rules for Project 80 as they have so far been released and hopefully we will be starting Project 80 today, Friday, February 16th at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. That is the plan. Hopefully it will start at that time and I will leave an annotation right here on the screen with what server, faction, and the yay or nay as far as is it going to um, because nothing has been said so far about whether or not it's going to happen and there was something that happened went down with Asmongold and uh, so things might get postponed. We don't know for sure. So uh, we're going to be going over the rules and first of all I want to start off with this is specifically kind of like the, um, for lack of a better term, Soda Poppins Project 80, you know, Soda Poppin, Asmongold, myself, Zaryu, Azir, a lot of different streamers. This is like our Project 80. This isn't going to be necessarily the same Project 80 that you may have done in the past or that you may have heard of. This is uh, Project 80 as kind of like we see fit, right? Uh, so the rules and guidelines of project 80 here's a completely a complete list of the official rules and guidelines of project 80 if a rule is changed or added it will be marked in green uh, by the way this in, this document will be linked in the uh, in the section below so that you guys can have this on your computer and if anything has changed then it will be automatically updated via Google Docs so uh, this should be also be noted that uh, accidents do happen. The officers will take this into consideration when dealing with a broken rule. Contact an officer immediately and they, and they will attempt to resolve the issue. These rules are to make the project immersive and exciting for everyone, so please follow them. Character creation. This is very simple. Pandaren are banned. Goblins are banned. Worgen are banned. Monks are banned. And allied races are banned. With, for now, with a little smiley face, I'm not sure what that means. All other, all other class slash race combinations are okay. So yes, you can make characters that race, you know, races that weren't, you know, couldn't be a certain class back in Wrath. You can do that. You know, the whole point is just to allow everybody to play what they want to play, um, as long as they're not playing stuff that just simply didn't exist. You know, period. They just didn't simply exist back then. Uh, for, for mounting, so due to enforcement being difficult, the heirloom mount, the chauffeur chopper, will be allowed. This is going to get a lot of people, like I said, if you don't want to do the, you don't want to use the chauffeur chopper, don't use it, you know, simply. But the, but the reason they're doing it is because last time in Project 60 and in Project 70, it was nearly impossible to enforce, um, unless that person was streaming and they were held to, accountable. Um, and so what was happening were people, is that people that were willing to cheat got, you know, they had a leg up, they got ahead, and so they want to make sure everybody's on a level playing field, you don't, you don't have to feel like a cheater just to keep up, you know, so that's good, um, utility mounts, repair mounts, passenger mounts, water walking mounts, etc. are all allowed, once again, because you just can't really stop people from doing it. Uh, travel, summons, portals, and zones. Warlock summons are allowed, summoning stones are allowed, and you may take mage portals and world portals freely with the following exceptions. No toll barad por uh, portals, they are banned. Veil of Eternal Blossoms portals are banned, obviously, um, and all portals to zones not available in Wrath of Lich King are banned. Do not travel to any zones outside of Kalimdor, Eastern Kingdoms, Outland, and Northern. This also includes level 80 plus Cataclysm zones, e for example, Twilight Highlands. Just don't go to them. You have no reason to be there. Do not go to them. Leveling quests and dungeons. Although Cataclysm expansion completely overhauled the quests and zones in Azeroth, you may level up in them through requesting as before. You may also enter and complete any classic Burning Crusade or Wrath of Lich King dungeon, excluding ones listed at later, including the quests inside them. So heirlooms of any kind are not allowed. Do not create them, buy them, equip them, or use them. If you do, you will be kicked, and that is one of the most important and serious um, rules. You cannot use heirlooms. Period. Period, guys. Um, experience multipliers, like Dark Moon Fair buffs, stuff like that. Experience multipliers are not allowed. These include potions, recruit a friend, etc. You may not group with anyone outside of the official Project 80 guilds if you are in an official Project 80 guild. If you are in a guild, then you cannot group with anybody outside of it, um, unless they are in another official guild that's owned by one of the official, you know, officers. So... A lot of people don't like this one either, but like I said, like, you know, it's about, it's about immersion and they want this guild to be everybody helping, working together in this guild. You know, if you need something for your, for your professions, if you are looking for a questing buddy, if you're trying to do dungeon groups, you need to do it with your group, with, with your guild, you know, it's part of the experience. So the use of the random or, spe or, or specific dungeon finder is not allowed. Only guild groups may complete dungeons. Boosts are not um, are allowed within the guild only. I don't know what this means, um, but I don't think they're talking about 
level boost. I'm not sure what this means, but do not boost, obviously. Talents and specs. You may choose a class specialization at level 10 and learn it at your will. No specialization stacking beyond two. This means that two feral druids and a resto druid are allowed, but three feral druids or any other specialization is not allowed. Only one frost mage is allowed within 25 man raid content. Only one death knight of any spec is allowed within any group. Only one death knight is allowed per group to prevent people from rolling death knights to skip the leveling process. If you truly wish to play death knight, you may, but be wary, without having a committed group, you will have a much harder time doing heroics and raiding. Frost mage um, are being limited to allow more class variation. Although counterintuitive, leaving them unlimited would both trivialize a lot of content, but also would make other classes inferior. I think it's no secret that uh, frost mages um, and arcane mages are 100% uh, totally broke they are totally broke uh period you know and in the low level content so that needed to be done because they were insane they were insane in project 60. for gear you may not use or purchase any pvp gear including a pvp trinket from any vendor period because it's super strong stuff and it can get you really good gear without doing the pve content uh, raid gear from non to Lich King raids not allowed. This includes vanilla raids, Molten Core, BWL, AQ, etc. NPC raids, Kara, Gruul, Slayer, Mag, um, Ma yeah, blah, blah, blah. Web's Eye, Ramsine's Lightning Bolt, and other trinkets are not allowed. These are trinkets that are broken. They do not, they are just broke. Armor reducing weapons are not allowed because once again that is broke as hell. Level 58 plus vendor gear from non-reputation sources is not allowed, e.g. badge of justice and emblem gear. This excludes tier set exchanges from raid tier items. And finally, transmogrification is not allowed, obviously. Exceptions, uh, expect uh, additions to this as time passes. So keep, make sure you come back and look at this, guys. All right, it's gonna be important. You don't wanna, you don't wanna accidentally break a rule. You wanna enjoy your time in Project 80, right? For PvP, you may enter battlegrounds and skirmishes at any level. Feel free to organize war games between guild members at any level, and PvP gear from vendors is once again not allowed. Not allowed because it's really good gear and it's easy to get. Once a cat, cat alert, cat. <laughs> Uh, professions and trading. The rules regarding professions. Ar Archaeology is not allowed. It didn't exist back then. Do not learn illustrious grand master in any profession. 450 plus. Threat to Lich King cap is 450. Do not learn or use any cataclysm recipes or formulas. These are fairly obvious as they require Ratalish King materials, e.g. Hypnotic Dust. <laughs> Sorry about that. Epic gems are not allowed. Meta gems are allowed. The rules regarding trading. You may only trade with guild members, period. You cannot accept anything from anyone outside the guild. If you think an item or material has not been legitimately obtained, report the person responsible to an officer. The rules regarding the auction house. The auction house is allowed, however, you are only allowed to buy classic Burning Crusade and Rat Lich King materials for gear and professions. Do not buy any item with an item level above 200. Wearing it will result in a G kick. Please be careful. All crafted items must have been made by a guild member only. Rat uh, World of Warcraft tokens are not allowed to be bought slash sold. This is so that you don't get a shitload of gold and then buy all the best potions, food, and... Um, and anything you might you may need for your professions, power level your professions, and then, you know, kick ass. Because professions are very important in order to take down the raids and the heroics and all that. Why is the auction house suddenly allowed? The officers have decided to allow the use of auction house in order to avoid giving advantages to players abusing alts and mail. When viewing the auction house, it was obvious that all relevant materials were being bought out. As they cannot track players through alternate alternate characters, the officers cannot punish or identify anyone. Therefore, in order for it to be a level playing field, the auction house has now been allowed for everyone, with the limitations discussed above. So, yeah, we have auction house this time, you know? Just, uh, follow the rules. In order to progress through the content read to Lich King, you must follow the listed order below. Failure to follow this order correctly will, will result in a guild kick. You must kill all bosses in every raid to progress to the next. Instructor Azuvius may be killed on 10 man even when progressing through 25 man. This boss requires two priests on 25 man, which would be class stacking. Um, and also, you'd have to purposely bring two priests, and that's not fun. Step 1 uh, is Heroic Dungeons, optional, 5 man, do all the Heroic Dungeons. Step 2, Naxxramas slash Sartharian, 10 man maximum. Step 3, Eye of Eternity, 10 man maximum. Step 4, Ulduar, 10 to 30 flex. 
Uh, step five, TOC, TOGC, and only, oh, and Onyxia, Onyxia's layer, 10 man maxim maximum. Step six, ICC and Ruby Sanctum, 10 man maximum. Forge of Souls, Pit of Sauron, and Halls of Reflection, Trial of Champions, will all but initially be off limits. These will be released when needed for gear catch ups when certain bosses and raids seem like very difficult gear walls. All raids may be completed on 10 man or 25 man, but in order to progress to the next raid tier, somebody must complete the previous raid on 25 man. This last rule is intended to help the casual audience that partakes in these projects, allowing them, complete, allowing them to complete content that may be too difficult or require certain classes and comps to complete, as well as being additional resources, sources of gear when gear walls are hit within 25 man. So, bam. And then, that is it. This is the change log down here. If you ever want to see what's going on with the rules, you can always come to this page. Once again, there's a link down below. And you can check the change log down to the very bottom, and it will show you all the changes that have been made. So, as you can see, it was written up just uh, yesterday as the original write-up by Serendipities. So... We're at 12, we're at 13 minutes on this video, but I just want to say real quick, this isn't a trying to relive the nostalgia of Wrath of the Lich King. I can't be clear about that. Like, you cannot get the same experience today. You can't. What this is about is reliving through the content, reliving through the raids, reliving through the gear, and just having fun. This isn't about any kind of, like, trying to have the perfect Wrath of the Lich King ex experience. This isn't about trying to you know do anything like that is simply just to have fun do something different and to have fun playing around with the you know like i said the raids and new and the old gear and the professions and all that and kind of get that you know have some fun it's all it is guys all it is all right don't take it too seriously and i hope that you guys enjoy it let me know what you guys think uh, about project 80 and what you guys are looking forward to what you guys are going to be playing i want to hear what everybody's going to be playing uh please leave all that in the comments below also if you have any questions about what i talked about here today ask me and i will answer so uh thank you please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button and you guys are awesome and i will catch you guys later take it easy